Are you a worry wart, my friend? I admit that I tend to worry needlessly about some of the smaller things in my life. I have learned that worry doesn't solve anything, it usually just wastes time, emotional energy, and spiritual strength. According to an article I read from Psychological Healthcare, worry is at epidemic proportions in America. What do we worry about the most? Money and the future tend to top the list. We worry about job security, health, relationships, and countless other things that tend to creep into our minds. The article warned that worry could lead to anxiety. They recommended that we use coping techniques like mindfulness, meditation, and deep breathing to help ease our stress of worry. I am not a psychologist, but I would like to introduce another tool to help you cope with worry. When I feel myself being overwhelmed by worry, I pray. I will leave a prayer for you to use at the end of this devotional. I find that prayer replaces worry very quickly. When we shift our thoughts from our minds and allow our spirits to guide us in prayer, worry tends to take the back seat. The more we focus on God, the less we tend to worry about. The old saying, let go and let God, seems to be true. We need to practice letting go of things and letting God take over in our lives. Faith is the path to hope. You wearied yourself by such going about, but you would not say, it is hopeless. You found renewal of your strength, and so you did not faint. Isaiah 57 verse 10. Worry can weary your strength faster than any physical activity or hard work. Worry is a spirit killer and a slayer of hope. Before anything even happens, or the entire event unfolds, a sudden injection of worry can contaminate any possibility for hope. Never say, it is hopeless. What may seem hopeless to you is just a new beginning to me. Hope brings spiritual energy to the soul and restores it for optimal performance. Now those huge gates of despair appear as the tiny specks they really are. Your life is centered around your perception of how you think things appear to you. Sometimes the end may appear as a giant because your faith has failed to draw upon my hope. Start each day in my hope, and you will end each day renewed and strong in spirit. I know it can be very difficult for you to stop worrying, my sacred heart, but there is a way out of the worry wart trap. Whenever you feel your mind slipping into worry mode, start to pray. Prayer engages the soul with greater power and control over you than your mind. But if allow the mind to stand in line first, it will jump right in and worry. Clear your mind, calm your day, and caress your soul. Your soul has no worries when caressed in the hands of faith. I don't know how much this devotional has helped you let go of your worry, but I pray that it at least gave you a direction to go when you feel anxious moments in your life, my friend. Did you ever notice that no matter how much you worry, you can't change the outcome? However, the more energy you place into prayer, the greater your chances of altering the outcome. What we can't do alone, God can help. Let me pray now, my friend. Loving God, hear my prayer. When worry overwhelms me, change my focus. Help me focus on the things I can change in my life, not on what I cannot control. Lift the burden of the need to control to the art of giving over to you. Let my soul take over when my mind wants to rule. I will never find you in the dark corners of my mind, but you await me in my soul's sheltered, sunlit sections. Come to me when my mind runs toward anxiety. Stay with me as I try to solve the unsolvable. Remain with me as I worry without need. Calm my mind by speaking to my spirit. Tell me that it will be fine because you are in control. I can let loose my white-knuckled grip on life. Rather than fighting through life, help me enjoy the ride you can provide. Keep me safe, O oh God. Keep me close, O oh Jesus. Love me forever, O oh Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's make a pack, my friend. 
Why don't we each try to worry less and pray more? What a difference maker if we shifted from needless worry to productive prayer. I believe prayer is a game changer because it shifts us from what we cannot change to what God can change. The best thing about prayer is that we will find that there is nothing closer to us than the Spirit of God. Go in peace, my friend.